the young metro don't trust you, I'm gonna shoot you. Beautiful morning, get the sun in my morning, babe. What is up, everybody out there? This is the Gaucho Sports Spot coming at you live from under Stork Tower on the beautiful campus of UC Santa Barbara. This is the Wednesday edition, and I am your host, Alec Nolan. Got a lot of great stuff to talk to you guys about today, so strap yourself in. This coming out of St. Louis, Pittsburgh Pirates outfielder Starling Marte has been suspended 80 games by Major League Baseball after testing positive for performance-enhancing substance. The league announced Tuesday Pirates manager Clint Hurdle said Andrew McCutcheon will move back to center field with Marte suspended. McCutcheon has been moved to right field during the offseason, a move with which he had voiced his displeasure. He was the subject of copious offseason trade rumors. This is Vantage Point with your host, Alec Nolan, coming at you live, KCSB FM 919 in Santa Barbara. Got a great show for you guys today. And although my favorite team, the Los Angeles Lakers, are not in the NBA playoffs, that doesn't mean that there isn't exciting stuff out there, because there is. And it comes from a man and a coach named Dave. Fizdale. Now, if you didn't watch the game yesterday, Memphis lost to the San Antonio Spurs headed by future Hall of Famer Greg Popovich. And although David Fizdale is just in the infancy of his career coaching, he made it very clear yesterday that he wasn't about to go down without a fight. And that's what we like about Dave Fizdale. What a savage. Zach Randolph, the most rugged guy in the game, had zero free throws, but somehow Kawhi Leonard had 19 free throws. First half, we shot 19 points, shot 19 shots in the paint, and we had six free throws. They shot 11 times in the paint, and they had 23 free throws. I'm not a numbers guy, but that doesn't seem to add up. Overall, 35 times we shot the ball in the paint. We had 15 free throws for the game. They shot 18 times in the paint and had 32 free throws. Kawhi shot more free throws than our whole team. Explain it to me. We don't get the respect that these guys deserve because Mike Conley doesn't go crazy. He has class, and he just plays the game. But I'm not going to let them treat us that way. You know, I know Pop's got pedigree, and I'm a young rookie, but they're not going to rook us. That's unacceptable. That was unprofessional. My guys dug in that game and earned the right to be in that game, and they did not even give us a chance coach dave fisdale they're going hard on the refs but as we said nba playoffs it's not always about the games and the outcome it's about the content you can get from it and fisdale not going out without a fight that's one of the best coach rants you've probably seen that's up there with you play to win the game with herm edwards that's up there with jim mora in his playoffs you gotta be kidding me my fear is that dave fisdale is going to be always remembered as this but you gotta look at those great sound bites there you got to love the, hey, I get it. I'm a rookie, but I'm not going to get rooked. We're not going to get rooked. Love it, Dave Fisdale. The numbers don't add up. Take that for some data. I love it, Dave Fisdale. Going off, you savage. Keep it up. Hope Memphis gets at least a game or two in this. I don't think they're going to take down San Antonio, but just for the respect of Coach Fisdale and that team, as he said, Mike Conley, Zach Randolph, Gasol, those guys are grinders, and he feels as though they're not getting the respect they deserve. <laughs> 